Hey there, spider owners. Brandon here at SlingMods.com, and today we have our LED afterburners for the 2020 newer Canon Spider RT models. You know, we're always looking for new and innovative ways to enhance both looks and safety for the Canon Spider. And in doing so, we've launched a bunch of lighting mods for the 2020 and up RT such as our sequential fenders, dual A-arm lights, and our floorboard running lights, just to name a few. So thanks to our friends over at Trick LED, we've got something really special for you to light up the tail end of your Spider RT. Introducing our LED afterburners for the 2020 and up Spider RT lineup. These rear tail lights are custom made PCB boards that have been specifically designed to fill the plastic inlays just below the factory taillights on both the left and right hand side of the bike. They feature running lights, brake lights, and sequential turn signals for that super custom look. The circuit boards are even coated with a smooth hand laid epoxy resin, making them easy to clean while protecting them from mother nature. And as you can see, once installed, these afterburner LEDs bring the tail end of your spider alive adding substantial rear end visibility while out on the open road. So now that you know a little more about this mod and what it can do, allow me to walk you through the installation process on our SHOP 2020 Spider RT. Now we're going to be doing the installation today on our 2020 RT base model. If you have the 2020 RT limited model, you will have a rear trunk in this location here. If you have the limited model, you will need to reference your manual on how to unlock, remove, and unplug the rear trunk prior to installation. Start by pressing down on your key and turning it clockwise so that you can unlock and lift up the driver's seat. Then reach your hand underneath and back to release the two clips holding the back seat in place and just lift it up and off. Now carefully lift up the rear deck panel and tilt it up and back to unhook it from the front. Next, open your left hand side saddlebag door and unscrew these four plastic screws. Now these are really just push pins so you don't have to unscrew them all the way, just enough to release the pressure on the clip. Then use a 10 millimeter wrench and T30 Torx to remove this bottom nut and bolt. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to release the door shock so that you can unscrew these two T25 Torx screws. Next use an eight millimeter socket to unscrew this silver screw on top and then unscrew this T20 Torx screw next to it so that you can remove this cover piece and unscrew this T15 Torx underneath. And then do the same thing for the other side. Unscrew the four plastic screws, the bottom nut and bolt, then remove the shock, and two screws underneath it, followed by the two on top, so that you can remove this plastic cover and unscrew the small screw underneath so that you can pull the panels aside just enough to reveal the taillight harnesses. You can remove the factory antenna if you'd like, but we were able to slide the panel up and over the antenna to gain access to the wiring harness. Now test fit the LED up to the bike so that you can see how it will fit and make a mark where the wire is. Then using a step drill bit, make a hole big enough for the plug to fit through. Test fitting it as you go so that you don't make the hole too big. Next, you can clean the surface area with an alcohol prep pad. 
and let that sit for a minute to dry before going over the same surface area with the included primer wipe. Once that's dry, double check the LED to make sure you have the correct side, then slide that plug in and up through the hole we drilled while gently pulling out the slack. Then pull off the protective backing tape, line it up so that it's straight, and starting with the bottom skinny piece, press down firmly to adhere into place. Now just repeat that for the other side, test fit the LED up to the bike, make a mark where the wire is, use your step drill bit to make a hole big enough for the plug to fit through, Clean the surface area with an alcohol prep pad and let that sit for a minute to dry before going over the same surface area with the included primer wipe. Once that's dry, slide the wire into the hole. Peel off the protective backing tape. Line it up so that it's straight and then press down firmly to adhere into place. Now unplug your taillight harnesses so that you can connect the new harnesses from the kit. Next, add a little dielectric grease to the ends of your LED wires. Before plugging in your left LED into your left hand side harness. And your right LED into your right hand side harness. Please note that the yellow wire with buck connector on both the right side and left side harness will not be used for this particular lighting mod. Now you can test your lights to make sure everything works. Before zip tying any excess wiring up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. and reattaching your body panels in the reverse order you remove them. Self lighting up the tail end of your 2020 or newer Spider RT is on your mod list. And be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab a set of afterburners for your Spider RT. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything Spider. I'm Brandon signing out. Till next time.